Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we're going to see how to multiply decimals. So you can multiply decimals by using a number line, a hundred grid chart and so on. Or even using repeated addition. But there's a way easier method to do multiplication by decimals, which is by directly multiplying them. So let's see the steps. So we first multiply the decimal numbers as though they were whole numbers. Then we include the decimal point in our answer. But you may wonder, if we are multiplying the numbers as though they were whole numbers, wouldn't the answer be wrong and how do we know where to put the decimal point in our answers? So the number of decimal places in the answer is basically the same as the total number of digits to the right of the decimal point in each of the factors. So let's see an example. So I want to buy 8 pence and each pen costs 75 cents. You may do 75 plus 75 and plus 75 8 times. Instead, we can multiply them. So let's multiply 0 0.75 into 8 as if they were whole numbers. Let's ignore the decimal point or pretend if it's not that. So we have to multiply 8 times 5 which gives us 40. We write the 0 and carry the 4. Next we do 8 times 7 which is 56 and 56 plus 4 is 60. So we write the 0 and carry the 6. 8 times 0 is 0 and 0 plus 6 is 6. So you may think, so the answer for 75 into 8 is 600. But we are multiplying decimals here. So isn't there supposed to be a decimal point in the number? So write the decimal point again where it used to be. Next shift it until we get to the end of the ones place. So we shift right. And when you shift one digit, we count one by one. So here, we sh I shifted two times. So one, two. So we shift the decimal point till here. So we write two decimal points. Since eight is not a decimal number, but a whole number and has no decimal points, we write zero decimal points. Next, we add these two together to get two decimal points. So in our answer, we place the decimal point two places from the right. So basically in the opposite direction. So write the decimal point down as it is. Next shift it two places. So one and two. So 0 0.75 into 8 is 6 dollars. So 8 pence costs 6 dollars. Let's see another example, 0 0.42 into 2.1. So let's multiply them as though they were whole numbers. So we ignore the decimal points. So let's multiply. 1 into 2 is 2. 1 into 4 is 4. And 1 into 0 is 0. Next we do 2 into 2 which gives us 4. 2 into 4 which is 8. And 2 into 0 is 0. Now let's add. So we write 2 as it is and 4 plus 4 is 8 and 0 plus 8 is 8 and we write the 0 as it is. So the answer of 42 into 21 is 882. But we need to find the answer of 0 0.42 into 2.1. So let's put the decimal points where they used to be. Next we shift the decimal points till they reach the end. So when you shift one place, you count one by one. So I shifted two places here. So I write two decimal points. So here I shifted the decimal point one space to the right. So I write one decimal point. Next, we add these two together, which gives us three decimal points. Next, we bring down this decimal point. So we shifted three spaces from right to left. So one, two and three. So 0 0.42 into 2.1 is 0 0.882. Thanks for watching.